And let's see, can we raise our army maintenance? What can we safely raise it to? Can we raise it to a minus two? Yes. Okay. Does that make the Arapaho change their mind at all? Not really. Diplomatically... Yeah, we're still... We're still right about where we want to be. We can renew our conquests once we, uh, once we actually have a decent tech level. Which we're getting there. Regional nobles challenge the Chickasaw. Um, the capital gets minus taxes and minus modifier. Let's reform society. The answer is always reform society. Pope is no longer infallible. Don't think he ever was, if you ask me. Uh, we could build some more artillery. It's going to require us to lower our maintenance again, but... At least we'll have the uh, forces. So this is a 10 1 1, this is an 8 1 1. How did that happen? Oh, because we inherited. We inherited some forces, that's, that's how it happened. Alright, army maintenance will go down. 2.5 Even with low maintenance, we're not having a hard time fighting off these natives with our current tech level, <coughs> which is good. Going to have to pick up some military ideas here. So we're not wasting so much military power. Oh yeah, the loud leaf blowers are back. <laughs> Apologize that if that's picking up on the recording. Spice trade. That actually boosted our economy significantly somehow. So we'll raise maintenance back up to that. Don't want anyone getting any funny ideas. France is just getting their butt kicked. Did the uh is the League War still going on? Now the League War must have ended. I have no idea what the outcome of that was. We have very limited contact with the uh, the old world, as it were. Oh, we have a fort here that's costing us money. Let's turn that shit off. Prove the capital. We definitely want to use manpower. He's actually not going to be too bad a leader, this guy. Alright, come on. We want some tech. Tech, tech, tech. This rate we might be able to pick up a third colonist, actually. Oh, and we have a diplomat that's been doing nothing for I don't know how long. Um, make sure our allies still like us.
Poor Potawatomi. <laughs> we couldn't even help them if they got attacked at this point. Oh, is that not part of the same region? Merchant suffering, we'll give him our support. Duke has become secretive. All right. Modern theocracy, the flute, Spanish squares. We can pick up a military idea. Near siege. Might actually go with aristocratic. For the tech cost reduction. No, you know what? Yeah, we should get quantity because it'll reduce our maintenance. And that'll give us something to dump all of our excess military power into. Because right now we can build a big army, we just can't afford it. So <laughs> we want to be able to afford it. Which means we'll also probably have to take economic ideas here pretty soon. Awesome. Lots of native assimilation going on. Which makes sense, because we're also technically natives. Oh, so this is part of the Mississippi. That's why we need to take that. We have a nice little empire going. Gotta say. Riches of the clergy... Um, yeah, we'll find the money elsewhere. I think we can make that work. France is now a valid rival for us, really? France is a number five great power. We're not even close to being a great power. Let's, um... Let's impose a new tariff. Yeah. Excellent. Colonies become self-sustaining. So we need this, this. I don't believe we need this. Yeah, we don't care about West Sylvania, so... We will leave that alone. Also, this mission isn't doing anything for us. Let's cancel it. Oh, hey, we got the uh, next tier of unit models. So we are now American natives with guns. Landlocked and not adjacent, so we'll have to start in Ohio and move our way over. We won. These are eight one two, eight one two, eight one one. Does this guy have two cannons yet? No, he needs an additional cannon. Colonize Anticosti. Where is that? Why would we do that? It's a dumb, bad mission. Go away. find some ways to improve our economy. Let's call 
colonization has taken a lot out of us and not given us enough returns back yet. Yeah, we'll save the merchant. Where are we at in terms of... Uh... Yeah, we've made as many states as we can at this point. Um... State edicts. We don't really need these right now, I don't think. Uh, now let's turn off some of these edicts, because that'll save us some money. Oh, that made a huge difference. That made a really huge difference. I didn't realize how much money we were paying on those edicts. We might actually be able to build up to our force limit now. Need of assimilation, oh, that's what I like to see. This kind of turned into a chill colonization game, like we haven't had any major wars with the Europeans yet, but believe me, if, if they don't come to us when our tech catches up, we'll go to them. No need to worry. And we have greatly increased our manpower pool, which is going to be very useful. Actually, I might just finish all these idea groups before we do any more teching. Ungrateful natives. The Duke's reputation is tarnished. Let's embrace it. He's kind of a jerk. We're aware of that. No mission selected. Vassalize the Abenaki. I think we can make that happen. Um... They are very small. So we'll offer them an alliance. And a royal marriage with them. And then we will improve relations. The Arapaho have insulted us. Young can serve. Administrative problems, damn. Damn. Damn, guys, damn. All right, let's make sure we don't go into debt eradicating corruption. We almost did. There we go. <laughs> Narrowly avoided it. And that'll give us an extra Diplo relation. That's going to be another free province for us, essentially, up there. We have sailors now. I suppose we could start building a navy. Can't really afford it, though. Uh, can we boost our maintenance like one five? Yeah, we're still making money. Uh, how could we not afford an idea? Bourgeoisie request request privileges. Um, we can afford to lose diplo power. So I'm gonna go with that one. Excellent. Oh no, hunting accident. Oh well. 
Hopefully we'll get a better air this time. Oh, that's going to be an ugly border. <laughs> we'll deal with it, though. It's a very ugly border. Modest proposal. While well, it's not uncommon among certain type of young men to wish to remain outside the inevitable bonds of wedlock, the bonds are inevitable nonetheless. Looking out from your eagle's perch, you have spotted prey. The ruler of this foreign country has for a long time been postponing his marriage, and his throne lacks secure succession. This might be the perfect time to form a dynastic bond between our countries. Should we dispatch an embassy to try and marry one of our dynasty's young girls into this foreign house? Um... So 80% chance that they'll refuse. I think we have better things to do. To be quite honest, I think we have better things to do. Still no need to rush colonization down here yet. We are going to recall our diplomat from the Abenaki. We are going to offer them vassalization, which they are going to accept. We can annex them in 1649. Um, multicultural nation. How close are we to getting that? Government screen. We have three accepted cultures, don't we? For five promoted cultures, not accepted cultures. I see. New settlement. More people means more taxes. Man, do we love taxes. Alright. <clears throat> We're about to get another colonist. And friends in need. Yeah, sure, we'll lose 25 admin power. So I think we can actually afford to run three colonies. We're going to have to lower our army maintenance again, but I think it's going to be worth our time in the long run. Set it at negative two again. All right. And our colony in Ohio is self-sustaining. Make sure we grab that whole region. Yes, we did. So we'll head up on to Chillicothe, head toward that Potawatomi Center of Trade. Peasants are getting uppity. Um, yeah, these things happen. They happen so often <laughs> that we have a cure for them. Now, if we can get up to 50 prestige, we could increase our government rank. Colonize Mingan. Where is Mingan? Why do you keep giving us these terrible, bad missions? Like, these these are missions that would make sense for European colonizers, but they don't make any sense for us. 